Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Classroom Setup. This is day three. Savannah and I are here today, and we are getting started. We do have some to-do lists up on the board, so I have Savannah working on a few projects, and then I'm just kind of going through and doing things as I see them. My goal today is to get everything that is currently out and about put away. That way tomorrow, maybe even today, if we get done with this project early enough, we can start decorating walls. What I would like to do on my walls is make this wall for student work. So I'm planning on doing six rows of four, um, like basically like a construction paper sized sheet. And then Mandy has provided me with these really cute things. So I'm planning on putting a black piece of construction paper down first, and then these things come up and you can just slide their work on it. So I'll hang those across and I might fold this part down just so that it's not hanging out. Cause I'm not gonna put students' names on them. I'm just gonna do it by number. And then that way I can always put number ones, number twos, number threes, number fours, you get me. So that will be that wall. And I'm probably gonna put some sort of like title at the top, like student work or amazing work or whatever. And then over here in the library, I bought these really cute baskets from Target. They were on sale for five bucks. So I think I'm gonna hang them right in between the lamp and the picture so that they're low enough for students to be able to, like maybe right here, to be able to grab a book from them. So I'll be hanging those today. And then we're getting more books. Um, my Donors Choose project is supposed to be getting shipped or well, arriving sometime this week so we'll be putting all the picture books down in here i do also want to go back through the picture books one more time and just see which ones i can kind of put away that aren't really that interesting and i'm also going to stand them up in there so that they can be seen i need to do something with all of these binders but basically my goal today is to get everything that's currently out on tables put away so this should be fun also i know people are going to comment and tell me this shiplap is going up and down and the rest of my shiplap in the room is going side to side i do not care i do not have the energy nor do i care to get all the way back up and take that down and re-situate it same with that one not gonna do it so i don't really care <laughs> Um, these are our Avid binders, so Savannah's actually working on getting those put into my cubbies. Then she's going to put them in Mandy's cubbies, and then she's going to take them down to the other two's rooms, and then they can handle that. Yeah. I put my privacy folders in here with my paper, because I needed to put the blinds in the tall cabinet over there. I'm going to be putting away all of this stuff that's up here, and I know right where it's going. It's going to go in that cabinet that's open there. Do you even need a 26? Nope. Take the sticker out and then stack it in here with the other extras. Okay. Are you just trying to take this whole thing off? No, just pull the sticker out. Okay. So we're going to get started here. What do I want to do first? I think I'm going to work on... I know. Um, I think I'm going to put all of those. Oh, you're doing that. That's your job. Okay. So then I'm going to organize these binders and get them dealt with.
There we go. Hello, friends. So it is now 11.23 and we are starving. So we're gonna go and grab lunch. We're gonna go to Chipotle. But let me show you what have we what we have done so Gosh, far. <laughs> right, I wish. So I've cleared this table pretty much off. I would love to go to Michael's and see if they have on sale one of the like little jewelry things so I can store each letter in its own little thing. That way I don't have to worry about looking for it. Savannah took all of the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction flashcards and put them in these because I've had these hidden forever and they weren't serving a purpose. So now I'll make a label that says math facts and this will be where they are stored. So I think I'm going to just put whatever's left back in this tub and just hide it. And then I've kind of cleaned these cupboards and reorganized them. Same with this. Same with this one. I just put like indoor recess stuff in here and then extra storage. And then we have construction paper. Now I have more room in this cupboard for paper. We got book bins put out and organized. Um, this table, this is all the stuff that goes out on tables. So once we move everything, we'll put those out. This is gonna become a bench that lives under that bulletin board. So for a flexible seating option. And then I think I might move this little bench since it's so cute and it's like really hidden back here. I might move this and put it up front just as another place for stuff. And then the library has changed a little bit. I just moved these bookshelves up against the wall because it, it was bugging me that the backs were showing and I really didn't want to cover them. And I also didn't like that they were just out because they're kind of flimsy and long and tall and someone was going to probably knock them over. So now it is evenly on each side. And then Mandy gave me this super cute display rack for books. So once my readers or my, once my donors choose comes in, I'm going to put like some seasonal favorites there. And I've got flexible seating cushions on either side. I don't know if that will stay that way. I might move them up front with that other black thing. That way all flexible seating stuff is in one spot. And then I also need to fix this. You see how it's off? That cannot be that way. So I need to do that. And then I also need to finish this little strip of wall with this wood paper. Um, and then obviously organize my desk area and get the tables and desks moved around. We're going to do that after lunch. So we're going to go. Let's go chow down, girl. Let's go eat chipotle. Let's go eat chipotle. three o'clock ish I haven't really picked up the camera a whole lot just because I've really been like just in the zone not really thinking about vlogging but I am going to show you guys everything that I've accomplished today and the plan for tomorrow so my desk area is pretty much organized the plan is to use these two tables as my small group space now instead of just as a table. So I will be using those Ikea stools like I did last year, but I will have them sitting here when I pull a small group. That way I don't have to have like a specific small group space for myself and for an aid. So this is pretty much how it's going to be minus and add a couple more things. Um, I don't know if this cart's going to stay here. It might, it might be like my 
stuff that I use for work like all the time. That way if I want to work somewhere else, I can just roll it. Um, and then the stuff on this might change just where it's at from where it currently is. Um, I put the three black tables here. This one is broken, which is why it's in my spot. It's not available for students to work at, but this is gonna be used as like a front counter space. So um, I might put like an inbox there, maybe a pencil sharpener. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know if that's gonna stay there. This, I'm still missing a bin. And I don't think the things on top of it might will stay there. I'm not sure. I know that the two lamps will probably stay there. And then I used my adjustable IKEA table here as another flexible seating workspace option for when that time comes. And then I think I'm going to not do carpet spots and just move everybody up to the front so that while I'm teaching, everybody is just at their own desk while I'm teaching them. I don't know if that will stay forever, but for right now, I kind of like it. Um, I have this cart now, which makes things a little bit harder. If the projector was mounted, it would be a lot easier to do carpet spots, but since I have this cart, which is actually really nice, I hate all the cords, I'm gonna handle that later, but I can put all of the things that I use for teaching down in here, and everything is just in this one place. I don't need like a table and another table for my projector. Everything is just in one spot. So I kind of love that. And then I have my four desks and four desks there. A round table, a round table, and this table has no purpose now because I only have 21 students at this time. Actually, I only have 20 students at this time and I have one, two, three, four, five groups of four. Um, so if I did get another student, if I take this table home, I could put another student up at that desk and it wouldn't be a problem. Or I could sit them back here unless there's an aide working there, then they could just move. Um, Savannah got all of the binders and whiteboards placed in the cubbies. So the cubbies are pretty much done aside from the supplies that I want them to have. I need to put those away. I need to put these crates up. I think I'm gonna do like black, green, blue, black, green, blue, and then this pink one I'm gonna have to find another spot for because it'll drive me a little bit bananas if I have all green, black, and blue and no pink except for one, so I might move that. Maybe I'll put it up there with the other two pink ones over there, so maybe that. And then the library is pretty much done. I still didn't hang the baskets. I need to do that. But I think I'm just waiting until I can start working on walls. And then this is just more decor that needs to go up when I start doing walls. And all that junk is mine and some more flexible seating things that need to get put somewhere. They'll probably get stored under there. I might even put the other flexible seating cushions under there just so that everything is in one place. And then it gives more like walking room around. Savannah's pooped. I'm pooped. I did want to share one thing with you guys, something that I forgot to share yesterday because I was doing walls all day and I didn't think about it. So. Um, the bottom edge of the walls, I mean, you can kind of see the blue, but I used a box cutter slash like exacto knife. So I don't know, people might already know this, but I didn't do it until this year for some crazy reason. Maybe it's because I didn't go all the way down to the floor and all the way to the ceiling, but I used an exacto knife to just slide across the bottom. And there's like a natural gap between the wall and the border down there, so it didn't hurt the wall or anything. But that just made cutting off the bottom so much easier, an X-Acto knife. So I don't know. If you knew that, awesome. If you didn't, there's a hot tip. It is 3.15. We are going to get out of here. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's 
gonna be decorating, getting all of the walls done, using the Cricut, using my printer. I'm gonna print some stuff tonight, I think. And then, yeah, it'll be ready. And then next week, even Friday, I can start planning and prepping for the first week of school. Pretty exciting, so I will see you guys tomorrow for day four of classroom setup.